preacher, prophet, psychic, coming back at you again with the final preview. Federal versus Chili's. Good God Almighty. Oh, boy. Y'all, now let me just say something here. You know what? I thought I was going to maybe, usually when there's a big match like this, I usually, usually before I give her, because in this, I am going to give other videos that uh, sort of talk about the dynamics of the whole thing, whether it's more about Chili's or more about Federer, just how the dynamics will affect the outcome. I'm going to do some other videos. That's a couple more videos I know I'm going to do. But this video will be the pr prediction. I will choose in this video. So I thought this video was going to be long. I thought I was going to have to think about this. Because Chillish is playing at a high level. Chillish beat Federer in the... In the semifinals of the U.S. Open, and then went a, and then went on to win the U.S. Open. Now, now I want to bring this point up, people. A lot of people ain't bringing this up. That was in the semifinals. Chilich has never beat Federer in the finals. There's a difference. Now, now somebody could argue it doesn't matter. Chilich was on so much fire that he would have still beat Federer in the finals. Maybe, maybe not. There's a total difference between that because in the finals. See, in the finals, the guy who got the most majors, he got a big advantage. Because, see, say if Chilich would have met Federer in the finals, then Chilich would have had to overcome that nervousness that people feel in the finals. We have heard so many people, their first time in the finals, some people never win any more majors. They lose in the finals because of the nerves. And then some win the next time. But you have to over... Everybody talks about that. Those nerves. I mean, you got some people that can do it the first time. Like Federer did it the first time he was in the finals. Nadal did it. Those the super greats can do it. But, there, but there's, there's actually been some super greats that lost their first time in the finals. Like a Yvonne Lindell. Yeah, and then they have to, you know, get, they have to learn to overcome the nerves like Lindell did, and he became super great. So, well, let's get back, but let's get back to this video. Let me stop going off. Man, um, I'm gonna tell y'all, man, now let me just, let me get it with Chillage first. Yeah, Chillage is on fire. Chillage has the level to beat Federer. Chillage, um, uh, let me see, Chillage, Chillage, Chillage. Okay, he's beaten Federer before. Wow, Chilich, he matches up very well with Federer. Chilich is hungry, people, and he has a little revenge in his mind. Not, not even revenge. It's not so much revenge against Federer. It's he needs to redeem his, redeem himself. Y'all, you all remember Chilich just this past Wimbledon. Chilich had the blister, blister, but he didn't. He didn't quit the way you see. Chilich didn't quit the way uh a uh, Chong quit. I got to get Chilich credit for that. But Chilich, he was limping around, and so that wasn't Chilich's best. So Chilich feel, and Chilich was doing pretty well. Um, he would have done pretty well. We don't know what would have happened. So Chilich feel he has a good chance of beating Federer, and he does, okay? But, <laughs> Lord have mercy, I got to throw that butt in there. Man, people, I got to go with history. I'm going with history. I took history 101 in school. I know how history works. See, people, I'm telling y'all. Chillage, see, Federer, he only got to, Federer only has to worry about Chillage. Chillage, he's playing two people. He's playing Federer, and he's playing history. And he's playing big history. He's playing winning, Federer winning 20 majors. The 20th major. I'm telling you, people, I'm going, I, you know what? I, okay, I know Chillage, can he beat Federer? Of course he can. Would I be surprised if Chillage beat Federer? No, I wouldn't. But I'm doing like Vegas. I don't even have to look at the Vegas odds. Vegas is going with Federer. I know it is. Why? I, I'm not. Vegas is like this here. Why am I? Why is Vegas going to go with a guy who's won only one major versus one that's won 19? Now listen. Can a guy who only has one major be the guy that has 19 if he has the level? Of course. But, but if if both of them bring their A game. 
I'm going with the one with 19 with the A game than the one with one major with the A game. So I'm going, now sometimes I go against Vegas, but I'm going with Vegas. I've been going Vegas style during this tournament though. You remember I told y'all, I told y'all don't bet on Burnage. I told y'all don't bet on Demetrov. Now I know Chilich is, a, is greater than they are because Chilich has been here and he's won one. But I'm just saying, it's still the same thing. You always want to go, not always, but See, the reason why Vegas never really loses money, because Vegas, they lose sometimes, but still, 80% of the time, man, Vegas wins. And so, I'm doing, I'm using Vegas style here. I'm going with what I know has worked 19 times versus one time, okay? And like I said, I chill it. He's playing at the level, but I'm going with history. I'm going with history, people. I sort of see it. I, oh my, I see it 80%. I'm looking in the crystal ball right now. I sort of see Federer raising that trophy Sunday. I'm going with history. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to feel it. I'm feeling something. It's going to be hard. I know Chile is going to, listen, Chile is going to come strong. He's coming strong because I'm telling you, he wants to redeem himself from that Wimbledon loss where he had the blister. But I think history, I think history is going to overtake, overtake him this time. Uh, now, let me calm down here. I was going to put this in another video, but I'm going to say this now. Um... The fact that Chilich has already beat Federer on the uh, big stage, that can go two ways. Some people can look at it, and that's it, it can go 50-50. It can work to Chilich's advantage that I've already beat Federer on the big stage, or it can work to Federer's advantage. Uh, and this is important, is that uh, Federer, uh, Federer is saying, you're not going to beat me that way again. Trust me, you think you're going to beat me straight sets again? You're crazy. I, I'm going to side with Federer here. If I had to choose, do I believe that the fact that Chilich has beat Federer uh, one time on the big stage in the semifinals of the U.S. Open, is that going to override Federer basically saying, you're not going to do that again. I'm going to have to side with Federer. I, I would side with Federer 60-40. That because of Federer's high IQ, plus Federer is playing at a high level. If Federer was playing like so-so, Chilis could easily do this again. But I don't believe he's going to be able to do it again here. So I'm going with history, people. Okay, that's it. I said the video is going to be quick, but I'm going with history. Tennis Preacher. Prophet, psychic, signing off. Have a good one.